So I'm going to present the potential of SMI for detecting fetal heart pathologies. What, uh, what is already said is that uh, uh, fatal heart assessment uh, prior to uh, is, is becoming a standard practice in many fetal cardiology laboratories with advances in fatal imaging technology. So um, usually we use the endovaginal scanning uh, with the abdominal scanning, especially in the earliest uh, weeks of gestation. The challenge is the assessment of the pulmonary veins prior to 14 weeks of gestation. And this fetal ultrasound uh, echocardiography needs some expertise and training and skills of the trainer. And the limit is the maternal obesity. So as you see right here, this is a, a normal 2D uh, ultrasound of the four, four uh, chamber views. We can see the four chamber views, what, um, views but when we, when we use the SMI, we have a better uh, visualization of these four uh, cavities of the heart. And when you look at this video clip, you can see the whole examination of the four chamber views and the outlet flow in the great arteries and the three vessel views with trachea, as well as the aortic arch in the sagittal plane. So, uh, a detailed anatomical analysis is needed to improve the sensitivity of screening for cardiac uh, uh, heart defects during the first trimester. I think that, first of all, we have to be systematic in our analysis of the fetal heart. So, in the four-chamber view, with the SMI, we can clearly see the axis of the heart, and the normal axis is usually about 45, 50 degrees. We can see the ventricular septum, uh, laser, we can see it right here, very well, we can recognize it. We can see the pulmonary veins. Here is the fetus at 12 weeks of gestation. We can assess the size of the heart within the chest and the size of the different chambers of the heart. And we can make sure that the left ventricle constitutes the apex of the heart. We can assess very... Uh, it's not working. Okay, we can really assess the pulmonary veins, which is really... Um, uh, important because it's everybody uh, in the literature said that we 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 have we are it's very difficult to assess these pulmonary veins during uh, an early heart examination. So, knowing all this, we can screen for all these uh, cardiac anomalies during the first trimester. But the limit, as you can say, is to assess the prognosis, make the diagnosis is possible because we can really assess a normal heart. We can uh, suspect uh, cardiac anomalies. We can do the, if we have skills, we can uh, propose a diagnosis, a prognosis, but maybe we are not in some pathologies able right now to give a right, uh, a precise and accurate prognosis at this time. The assessment of the outlet flow with the SMI, we can see yes, the aorta and the ventricular septum very well, as in the second trimester, as uh, Jader showed us uh, just before. We can see the short axis view of, of the right ventricle at 12, 11, or 14 weeks of gestation. We can see the three vessels view, the two arches and the trachea, and the aortic arch. We can check the size of the different vessels 
and verify the integrity of the ventricular septum in these views. So, we can suspect all these cardiac anomalies just seeing these uh, views of the outlet flow. So, if we take some examples, because we are not going to give you a catalog of all the anomalies that we can suspect and see diagnosed during the first trimester. Here's a, here is a, uh, a woman uh, referred for an idrops at uh, 12 weeks of gestation. We can confirm the idrops. And what we can see here is that the left ventricle is discrepant regarding the right ventricle. We can suspect here a small aorta, and two weeks later we can confirm that there is a small left ventricle, a hypoplastic left ventricle with a hypoplastic aorta that we can assess here in this clip. So it's important to see that we can suspect the hypoplastic uh, vent left ventricle on the 2D uh, imaging. But here, and with the color Doppler regular one, we may say that there is no flow between the, right, the left atri uh, atrium and the uh, left ventricle. But with the SMI, we can see that there is a flow within the left cavities. And there is a flow within the aorta, so it's not really a left hypoplastic heart syndrome. It is uh, a severe coarctation of the aorta. Another patient referred for a drops with severe intrauterine growth restriction. We are at about 12 weeks of gestation. What we can see is that we have an abnormal heart axis here. It Tricuspid uh, leaflets deplaced towards the, af the, the apex, as we can see it here, and a severe tricuspid regurgitation with cardiomegaly. So, we can make the diagnosis of an Epstein pathology. So, in conclusion, we can say that we can examine the fatal heart with SMI Doppler in addition to the 2D grayscale. With the color, with to, in addition to the color Doppler, that improve the ability to explore the, foot, the fatal heart. It is possible as early as 11 weeks of gestation with the transabdominal examination only. And with this mode, we can visualize the pulmonary vein and the ventricular septum as early as 11 weeks of gestation. And this imaging, this Doppler may improve the sensitivity, the sensitivity for detection of cardiac heart defects. The challenge is to assess the prognosis of some uh, cardiac heart defects as early as the first trimester. Thank you. So we will explore the fatal heart as we do it uh, during the second trimester, we go from the fertile head to the fatal chest. We check the position of the stomach and the heart apex. Well, uh, we will up. So here is the fatal heart axis, a fourth chamber the four chamber views of the heart. The difficulty during the first trimester scanning is that the fetus moves a lot, but here is the challenge. So let's start with the SMI. We can see the four cavities. Yes. So Let's go to the, the left ventricle that makes the apex of the heart, the right ventricle. The pulmonary veins that arrives in the left atrium. 
And as the heart is very, very small, we can go from the four chamber view to the vessel up, sweeping upward to, upward to the fetal um, um, head. We can see, you know, the aorta, the right pulmonary artery. And the dictus, we can see very well the pulmonary veins. We have to be very quick. <laughs> Here is the three vessels view, the arch of the aorta with the isthmus, and the We can see very well the arches of the aorta and the art uh, canal arteriosus. Here, right here, you can check the size of the vessels, their pos positions. Here is the superior vena cava. And you can see the ventricular septum here along the aorta. You can see the, the cross of the vessels right here. And when we go, you can follow. The, out, the, the outlet flow of the aorta along with the left ventricle. We can see it very, very well. You can check the ventricular septum. Right here, the membranous ventricular septum. And at the end, you can check the aortic arch. and the ductus arteriosus and supraaortic vessels that we can see very, very well right here. That's, I think that the baby was so nice with us, madam. <laughs> we saw everything and uh, you know, you can sweep very smoothly and go from the four chamber view to the three vessels and trachea and move on along with the ventricle septum, the cross of the, three ve of the two uh, great vessels, the size of the great vessels, and you can examine the whole heart like this. Thank you.